Hi everyone, Irene Stewart here. We had sunshine today after several days of rain and boy is that welcome. Uh, I've been watching the replay of a recent Proctor Gallagher Institute event uh, which focused on the teachings of Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, and I gleaned a lot of gold nuggets from these sessions. One recommendation that Bob Proctor, Proctor made is that before you go to bed at night, you write out in longhand the last chapter of the small book, As a Man Thinketh, by James Allen. Here's the book. And uh, the chapter is entitled Serenity. And before you write this out, his recommendation is that you either do some breathing exercises or you meditate so you can center yourself and really be able to concentrate as you write out this short chapter of a page and a half. This will enable you, your subconscious mind to focus on this chapter while you're sleeping. And by repeating this exercise consistently, you will be, become more serene. And I want to read a small part of this chapter for you because I think it's really outstanding. Uh, calmness of mind is one of the beautiful jewels of wisdom. It is the result of long and patient effort in self-control. Its presence is an indication of ripened experience and of a more than ordinary knowledge of the laws and operations of thought. A man becomes calm in the measure that he understands himself as a thought-evolved being, for such knowledge necessitates the understanding of others as the result of thought, and as he develops a right understanding and sees more and more clearly the internal relations of things by the action of cause and effect, he ceases to fuss and fume and worry and grieve and remains poised, steadfast, and serene. The strong, calm man is always loved and revered. He is like a shade-giving tree in a thirsty land or a sheltering rock, sheltering rock in a storm. Who does not love a tranquil, tranquil heart, a sweet-tempered, balanced life? It does not matter, matter whether it rains or shines, or what changes come to those possessing these blessings, for they are always sweet, serene, and calm. This exquisite poise of character, which we call serenity, is the last lesson of culture, the fruitage of the soul. This is just a wonderful, wonderful little book. And I wanted to share that with you. And um, I will talk to you again in another video. Bye-bye.